The uh, purpose of this lesson is to uh, help you download the software and make sure that all the parts are properly installed on your computer. The software works for Windows PCs, it works for Intel, uh, Apple uh, Macintoshes, and it works for PowerPC, Apple Macintoshes. The first thing that you do is uh, go to the website bcook.cs.georgiasouthern.edu. At the top of the page is a link to an m.zip file, which is about 570 kilobytes, which is m.zip. You just click on that. You get a message that says uh, contains an application, and you continue downloading. And you may get another message about it containing an application, and you continue downloading. And you should download it to your desktop which would make it easy to find. And if you look on your desktop, you should have a folder with the very simple name of M. Now, uh, a folder is basically used to organize all information on any computer, whether it's uh, Linux or a PC or a Macintosh, the concept is the same. And in fact, as we go through learning how to program, we're going to cover quite a number of different concepts that have to do with computing. A uh, folder can contain um, objects as well as other folders. Um, so if you double click, that is, you click the button quickly twice. Uh, with the cursor, which is the little arrow positioned over the folder. Uh, remember the folder is named M, just the lowercase letter M. And uh, if you look in the folder, there are a number of TXT files. That means text, meaning human readable text. Uh, there's a directory called fun, which contains uh, graphics whose purpose you'll see a little bit later in the course. Um, there's a um, folder of sample programs called OGL, and you can ignore that for the moment, but if you're a somewhat advanced user and just curious, you might try uh, executing uh, some of those um, sample programs. Uh, if you are on the PC, then at this point uh, looking at the folder M with art.txt, clear.txt, um, help.txt, etc. Uh, you would double click on mc.exe uh, or if your folder is set up to hide extensions and the extension is the dot and the letters following the name of something then you might just see MC in your folder. So if you're on a PC, you click MC, and if you're on an Apple uh, Macintosh, then you click uh, M. So I'm going to uh, click at this point. And you get a uh, terminal window with the date at the top, usually, um, and also a prompt, which uh, most uh, well-behaved applications will generate that tells you the date and version of the application. In this case, it's the September uh, 2006 version of the M system. Now, for anything that you ever do in a, on a computer, the first thing that you want to learn is how to find help. And typically, uh, that can be accomplished by typing a question mark and an enter, or by typing help and enter. And notice that for either one of those with M, you get uh, an output. The output says that command files, uh, a file is uh, just one of the .txt names, uh, must be contained in a folder uh, such as M, 
and that you can execute these command files by just typing a period followed by the name of the file. And in fact, in starting to program or learning how to program, the first thing that we're going to do is to look at commands. And on a computer, you command the computer to do things. So this is sort of a power trip. And we're going to start out by giving um, what we just learned about help to the commands. And so the first command that we'll give is dot help. And you would print uh, at the greater than sign, you would type dot H-E-L-P and then enter. Uh, the output says that M for beginning programmers has only three commands. Uh, dot art space hyphen dot help, which of course is what you just typed, and dot colors space hyphen, which prints all the color names that are part of the graphics environment that you'll be working with. Click on the title bar of your picture, which we'll do in a minute. Uh, type the X key and that will close the window. Click on the title bar of the M window, hold the control key down and type C or control C, which will terminate M, or alternatively uh, on a Macintosh, you can close the window by clicking in the little red circle in the upper left corner of the title bar, or on a PC, you would type, you would click on the X, which is in the upper right hand corner of the title bar. Uh, notice that I'm using the same terminology on both Apple computers and Windows computers uh, because in most cases, concepts are independent of any computer. So let's try closing the window. If you're on a Macintosh, click in the little red circle. If you're on a PC, click on the X. And you should get a question about the window terminating or it will just disappear. Okay, at this point you can get it back just by double clicking uh, on the executable, either M for Macintosh or MC for a PC. The M or MC program is well behaved. It's called a, sh a shell or an interpreter and it's well behaved because if you type a question mark it gives you help. In a similar fashion a uh, command is well behaved if you type just its name and it tells you something about itself. So if you type uh, dot help it tells you that there are three commands dot art, dot help, and dot colors. Try typing dot art, dot art, enter, and you'll see that you get a message that indicates what the art command does. Now if you want to execute the command, then uh, for reasons that will be explained later, uh, we need the um, to add the minus sign, so if you type dot c o l o r s space minus enter, then you get a list of all the colors that the graphics system understands. And if you type dot a r t space minus enter, then you'll get the graphic picture that we'll be working with in lesson two. And if you look in the uh, terminal M window, you may need to click and hold the mouse down on the caption or the title bar and you can move it so that you can see it. You'll see that everything that happened in the uh, graphic window has a text explanation uh, in the M window. And this basically is a documentation of what the commands are doing and is going in lesson two going to provide a helpful way to make sure that what you tell the computer to do is in fact what it does do. So at this point let's set the focus to the graphic window and we do that by clicking on the title bar and then we're just going to type the X character 
and it will close the window. In lesson two, we're going to go through how you can make new and interesting kinds of designs by modifying the commands that are used to create the graphic window.